Frontier doctor in Kansas cow towns of 1877 had to handle a lot of bad tempered and dangerous patients. Perhaps the most celebrated case in the early annals of Dodge City medicine was the time Mr. Shanghai Pierce, millionaire Texas cattle baron, got a severe stomach ache. Marshal Wyatt Earp and his old friend Dr. Fabrique of Wichita did not ask to become involved with Shanghai's medical emergency. It was thrust upon them by a dozen Texas gunfighters standing by to see that their boss survived or else. Hey, who sold you to Doc Fabrique, huh? Meanest tempered pill pusher in Kansas. Oh, it's a fine welcome I'm getting to Dodge City. Well, I'm glad to see you, Doc. Say, what'd they do, run you out of Wichita? My friend, the big-headed boy whom I've stopped from getting killed time and again. Well, goodbye. I'm shoving off. Now, look, I am glad to see you. Now, tell me, how's Marsh Murdoch and all my friends in Wichita? Marsh is feeling fair to middling. You tell me why. Ain't there any doctors in this town? Sure, Doc McCarty. He's a good man, too. You look kind of liverish to me, son. <laughs> well, that's not Doc McCarty's fault. Well, you see, this town is so peaceful, I don't get any exercise. <laughs> well, if you came to the right man, I can fix that. Oh. So you've been chased by a bunch of Indians or a small posse? Oh, I'm going on a vacation. No. Yes, the first vacation I've had in 12 years, and I figure I earned it. Well, you sure have. Uh, well, uh, welcome to the jail. Nice and peaceful. Come on. Boy, you get better in Wichita. <laughs> and since you know all the best fishing holes around Dodge City, you're taking a vacation, too. Well, uh, what kind of fish are you looking for? Catfish. Big, fat bullheads. About so long. Do you know where there are any that'll bite on a plug or twist? <laughs> Doc, you tempt me. Uh, but only for a couple of days. That's all we need, Wyatt. <laughs> Say, uh... What'd you do with your practice in Wichita? You just didn't pick up and leave him without a doctor, did you? Mm, the same as. I got me a young assistant out of Johns Hopkins. Well, that's a pretty good school. Hmm. Schools don't signify why it. young doctors have to do a lot of practicing. You know what I told my best personal friends? No. Don't get too sick while old Ducky is away. <laughs> <laughs> why, let's get the fishing gear ready and hop to it. <laughs> Hey, you got one. Look. No, take it easy. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. That must be a big one. No, just take it easy. Be a big one. Take it easy. Take it easy. Bring it easy. Quiet. It looks like it swallowed the hook. Hey. Don't look out. It'll haunt you. No, I didn't swallow the hook. Shoot him. It's just the... Easy now. No, he didn't swallow the hook. He just... Well, it's at the back of you using for bait. Hey, shoot him. Shoot him. It's a big one. Shoot him. All right, Marshal. But we're going to have to take your gun. Oh, no, you don't, Trask. Ain't you still working for Shanghai Pierce? Uh-huh. And he sent us after you, Doc. Why is that? Mr. Pierce, he don't feel good. He traveled all the way to Wichita to see Doc here. It's a fine thing you traipsing off like that. You're supposed to be in Wichita tending after sick people. I'm on vacation. And who are you to be scolding me? Now, wait a minute, calm down. Where's Mr. Pierce? Waiting over a Dodge. Got a misery in his stomach. And this old fossil here... Why, you... I'm... Just hold it, hold it. Look, why doesn't Mr. Pierce go see Doc McCarty? He's a good man. Well, sure, sure, but he left for Kansas City this morning. Besides, he left word that Doc Fabrique here had taken over his practice. What? Why, that pill peddler? I never told McCarthy that I was going to take over his practice. You go after him, Trask. Stop the train and drag him off. It's the first vacation I've had in 12 years, and McCarthy goes and pulls a trick like that on me. Why, Ed? Jack, you go after him. He's your man. 
Mr. Pierce don't know Doc McCarty. He wants you. I'll die first, right here beside my catfish. Shoot me. Go ahead. Fire away. Look, Earp, we don't want no trouble. But you know Mr. Pierce. He sent us after Doc here, and we got to bring him in. Or else. Mr. Pierce really feeling bad? He sure is. He's got the dangest bellyache you ever seen. Good, good. Let him suffer for a while. Just when Wyatt finds me the nicest, biggest catfish hole Will you that shut I've ever... Up? You go on back to Dodge. We'll follow you. All right. But no more catfishing. You promise? We'll follow you just as soon as we break camp. Now go on. Right. Thanks, Marshal. Well, come on. No! No, why, why, no, please don't. All right, I'll go. Give me my fishy. Give me. Come well, on, we can come back here tomorrow. All right. The only excuse I can make for Doc McCarty is that he's tired, too. So his chance to take a rest, and he took it. Huh. Now, there's no law that says that you have to treat Shanghai, Pierce. But, but ethically and morally, I Now, will you shut up? This is no easy medical case, Wyatt. The last time Shanghai Pierce had a big belly ache, he wanted me to cure the pain in five minutes. And he said if I didn't, he'd have his men set fire to my office. And they would have done it, too. Well, you stopped the pain, didn't you? Any fool could have done that with opium tincture. But I didn't cure Shanghai. The next time it'll be worse. Why, you're going to get us both killed. Look, what's wrong with Shanghai Pierce? What's wrong with him? <laughs> Why, that old fool. He'll eat or drink anything he can get his hands on. He's probably got a bad appendix, a set of stomach ulcers, and the worst thing that's wrong with him, he's got two million dollars. And a hundred cow hands like Trask. If it's the death of Shanghai, it'll be the death of me. And you. And him. Huh? Come on, let's get out of here. I think. I can hardly wait to get home, Wyatt, to eat this fish. <laughs> the pain's still bad? It's getting worse. Where is that scallywag of a doctor? Trash said he would come in right in. Thought maybe a nice pack might help. Now, if you'll just take your boots <laughs> no! off. No! Go get Dr. Ferbeek. And nobody touches those boots. All right, George, if I can't make it, I want to go out like a man with my boots on. All right, Mr. Pierce, all right. I just thought that... Tessie, maybe... stop thinking. Go hurry the doctor. Here's the doctor now. You no good old quack running out on me. What are you trying to do, Wyatt? I'm a sick man. Oh, shut up. Young woman, are you a nurse? Well, well no. Huh, I didn't think so. Oh, get out of here. Get out. Hold that, Wyatt. Give me my stethoscope. You're not worth all this trouble. And don't forget now, you're to take half a glass every four hours. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. <laughs> Whoa. That's better. Why, he had more gas in him than a foundered steer. How many times do I have to tell you not to mix cucumbers? Bourbon whiskey, steak, onions, and blueberry pie. Nah, it's no harm done, Doc. I feel fine now. What's the verdict? You got a bad appendix. Now listen, you stupid idiot. You better watch what you're eating. Give your stomach a chance to calm down. I really had myself a bellyache. A big one. Just like everything else about old Shanghai. Now, what do I owe you, Doc? Five dollars. Five hundred, you mean. I dragged you away from a fishing hole. I said five dollars. All you gotta do is just mail it to my office in Wichita. Come on, Wyatt. Let's get back to that catfish hole. What's wrong? What's old Doc sore about? Well, Mr. Pierce, you wouldn't savvy. Oh, now, hold on, Wyatt. Now, you and I had our troubles down in Wichita. That was a long time ago and far away. You ordered your men to pull a gun on Doc and me. Sure. I had a bellyache. Well, I don't like having a gun pulled on me, neither does Doc. Oh, well, I apologize. Well, that doesn't change anything, Mr. Pierce. Now, you still think that you can get tough with a doctor of medicine, and all you got to do is smooth it over with a little money and then apologize, and everything will be all right. 
Well, I suggest you take that big belly ache of yours and your big bankroll and get out of Dodge City. Oh, and the next time any of your cowhands pull a gun on me when my back is turned, I'll have more on the fishing pole handy. Oh, now, Wyatt. What up? Hold it, Doc. Where do you think you're going? It's none of your business. Stand aside. Uh-uh. You're not leaving until Mr. Pierce says so. Giving you any trouble, Doc? No, I. He's not giving me any trouble. Come on, let's go fishing. You're not going anywhere until Mr. Pierce says you can. Gentlemen, I've had enough of you. Now I'll take your guns. Don't try it. Please follow the fire away. This one is bleeding bad, but he ain't no patient of mine. All right, break it up, everybody. Go on, move. Give me your neckerchief. Go on, get out of here. Al, put a tourniquet on that man. We'll take him over to Doc McCarty's office. Doc left for Kansas City. It's all right. Doc Fabrique will take care of him until he gets back. Put the tourniquet on his arm. Wyatt, I ought to cuss you out to a fare thee well. The catfish are biting and you strapped me down with two gunshot cases. Yeah. I did you a favor. I could have dropped him out there at the fishing hole. Yeah. Oh, come on. Pick him up. Let's take him over to Doc McCarty's. Come on. Come on. Come on. You get him, Hal. A big favor you done me. I already wasted 40 minutes of my vacation. And you, you should have had better sense to draw a gun on Wyatt Earp. I've got a mind to rub a choice germ into your hand. Oh, Wyatt, see where McCarty keeps his final solution. Yes. Look, Doc, Mr. Pierce ain't gonna like this. He might even pass the word to the boys for a real dirty suit. Will you stop scaring me? If you don't watch out, you're liable to wind up without any kind of a hand. Look, all I'm saying is... You shut the... up. Mr. Pierce better have faster guns than you two if he's going to have a turkey shoot. Here, doctor. There's a deputy outside. When you're through patching him up, he'll take him on over to the jail. Oh, fine, fine. I'm sure they'll enjoy the trip. Shanghai Pierce will bail him out in ten minutes. Look, Wyatt, we're still going on the fishing trip, ain't we? Right after. Right after what? Come here. Oh, no. Uh, the uh, doctor will be with you in just a moment, folks. Oh, no, I won't. I don't care how sick you are. I came up here for a vacation. Go I want to go fishing. Cuss. Go on, cuss. Swear the Hippocratic Oath. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go on. Go home. I'm sorry, folks. The doctor doesn't really mean what he says. He just, uh, well, he isn't feeling himself today. Now, you just all sit here and kind of wait your turn, huh? Mr. Pierce, did the doctor say... Now, don't fret, Tessie. I'm cured. Tell me, how are Trask and Drango? They're all right. That marshal only wounded them. The deputy at the doctor's office said they'd have to go to jail, though. Marshal Wilder. I don't know about him, Tessie. You know, once I even thought of him as a son. I tried to make him my partner. I really don't think you should be eating so much, Mr. Pierce. Now, don't nag old Shanghai. Well, that boy once buffaloed me and threw me in jail in Wichita. Now he's plugged two of my best men. Well, all right, we'll bail him out. I got to do something about Wyatt Earp, though. My temper's getting mighty short. No. What's that you say? I said no. You're still a sick man. Oh. I think we ought to head for St. Louis or Kansas City. Oh, please, Mr. Pierce. They have stomach specialists and good hospitals. Oh, and... now, Tessie, you're spoiling my appetite. Well, if none of the others will tell you the truth, I thought I was of some use to you just by telling now, the truth. Now, darn it. Tessie, sit down. Sit down. Now, tell me, how many of my men are here in Dodge? Mm -hmm. Dozen, 15, I didn't count. All right. You go round them all up. Gunfight? No. No, it don't have to be that. All right, I'll tell you the truth. Doc Fabrique is the only pill pusher that I have any confidence in. 
And you saw how, how you got me back on my feet. Well, all right. I'm heading back to Texas. And I want Doc to travel along with me. Kidnap him? Well, no other way. But that'd mean a fight with Wyatt Earp. Uh-uh. Not if you'll do a little play acting. Now, Wyatt Earp has got one soft spot in him. For a Yankee, he's very chivalrous toward women. So now, Tessie, you go to him. Doc Fabrique's still working? Yeah, he sure is. Yeah, the Lambert kid's got the summer complaint. Old Grandpa Dakin's heart's threatening. I uh, wired Doc McCarty and told him to hurry back as soon as he can. You know, for a real vacation, old Doc Fabrique should have stayed in Wichita. Mm. Al, you and I think we got it tough. Well, uh, don't ever study medicine. I know. People sure take advantage. I saw the Morgan sisters in Doc's waiting room. They're the biggest fakes that pretend to be sick. A lot of people like that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, I thought, uh, thought Mr. Pierce had left town. He's leaving. He wants me to go with him. Oh? He promised to send me to St. Louis. I could get a job in a show there. Oh, sit down. Thank you. Mr. Pierce kind of specializes in uh, down and out show gals. I didn't know that. He was such a gentleman and... With so much money. I, I suppose you're afraid of him. He said he hired me as a nurse. And if I tried to quit, he'd... Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, Mr. Earp. Did he... Uh... Threaten to take you by force? Look, I, uh, I have some papers I have to sign here, and then I'll take you over and get you a safe place to stay. Right, you Trask. You two bring the doc out. We'll get him out here. You're both bilious. Sitting around all day in your military shop and get out of here. Mr. Pierce wants to see you, Doc. Well, I don't want to see him. How'd you two get out of jail? The judge let us out on bond. Mr. Pierce is in the carriage right outside. He wants a final checkup before we leave for Texas. Huh. I've discharged him. And you can tell the pig headed old fool that as far as I'm concerned, I will not go out there and work at him. Oh. Yes. Mr. Pierce, are you sick again? Got a pain. Get that doc. Oh, he's right here. You're faking, Shanghai. And you ain't no patient of mine. If you don't tell Trash to let me go, I'll have Wired Earth throw you in jail. He's a goner. His heart. Will you shut up? I'll examine him. You fancy buttons. Uh-oh. He's gone and done it. Uh, he's got a hot appendix. It's just one chance. Drive him to that army surgeon out of the old fort. What? Wyatt! Can I get any police protection in this town? Mr. Pierce, he's not dead, is he? No, ma'am. He's got the appendicitis. Doc, he'll never make it to the fort. I think the doc ought to operate right now. No, no, I won't. Oh, wait a minute. No! Look, you let me try and handle this. Wait a minute. Now look, he's real sick, isn't he? He's as good as dead right now. Well, couldn't you operate? No. Why not? Why should I operate on a man who treats a doctor like a cowhand? All right, now, doctor. Now, what is the real reason you don't want to operate? I don't want to take the chance, Wyatt. Why should I? Shanghai Pierce's men might kill me in case anything goes wrong. Yeah, but they're going to be just as hostile to you if you refuse. Yeah. Look, Wyatt, I, I ain't getting any rest here. If you're really a friend of mine, you'll hold off Shanghai Pierce's crowd and, and give me a head start back to Wichita, hmm? Well, if that's the way you... That's the way you look at it, Doctor. Doctor. Hey! Wait a minute. Are you saying I ain't a doctor? Well, All right. I'll operate. Hold that Shanghai Pierce over to the hotel. I'll be over there as soon as I collect the proper tools. I ain't a doctor. <laughs>
Out of my way! Out of my way! Come on, break it up! Hurry! Okay, Al, I'm going to give Doc a hand. Any of your Shanghai's men show up here packing guns, don't fool around with them. Take them. Right. Lie down, Mr. Pierce. Uh, where is that old butcher? He'll be here any minute now. All right. Now, Tessie, you stay here. I will, Mr. Pierce. The rest of you wait in the bedroom. I don't think old Doc's knife will slip on purpose, but it just might. Not with our guns on him, Mr. Pierce. All right. Go out. Get out. <sighs> Now, Tessie, give me just one little snifter for good luck. No, Mr. Pierce. <sighs> Hello, Doctor. Huh. What's Marshal Earp doing here? He's my assistant. Any more foolish questions? Well, you have to make allowances for Tessie, Doc. Huh. She's a poor little show gal. Uh. Oh, stop your moaning. You ain't dead yet. Now, listen, Doc. Can I have one shot of whiskey? No. Young woman? Can you handle ether without fainting? I'll do it. No, Wyatt. I want you to swab up after me. And then I want you to hold the claps. But right now, get rid of that artillery. Young lady, you take this, put it over his face, take the ether, let it start dripping now, slowly. Wyatt, go over there and get that lamp. Mostly you'll be holding the lamp, Wyatt. Just raise the other one, Marshal, and take it easy. We just want to make sure that Doc here don't let that knife slip. Because if something bad happens to Mr. Pierce, the same's going to happen to you. Why don't you stop your jabbering? Mr. Trask, you holster that gun weight downstairs and take your friends with you. Let's well, settle it. Clear out of here. Oh, stop it. Go downstairs, Trask. If anything goes wrong, there's plenty of time to get even. All right. Downstairs, boys. Hold it, there. He's under. Bring the light closer, Wyatt. You keep that ether dripping slowly now. Well, how do you think it went? The appendix hadn't busted. No sign of peritonitis yet. I'd say there's a good chance, Wyatt. Should he be breathing like this, Doctor? <laughs> He's lucky to be breathing at all. Look, I want you to stay here and see he doesn't eat any pork chops when he wakes up. We're going to go down to the bar. How long will you be gone, Doctor? Well, Miss Nosey, that's a professional secret. Mr. Herb, you won't let the doctor get drunk, will you? Ma'am, I don't think the doctor can get drunk enough to forget or forgive any of this. Doc, Mr. Pierce going to make it? None of your business. Oh, you are... ah! Looks like this one is dead, Wyatt. Oh, I just creased his skull. Now you've gone and ruined my gang vacation. Well, I should have shot him anyway, even if they hadn't gone for the guns. The man who pulls a gun on me when my back is turned, better make good on it. Professional ethics, Doctor. Well. Sorry to be going off in such a hurry, Wyatt. Doc McCarty will be coming back in a few hours. Let him take care of his own patients. Oh, no, you want to get out of here before anything else happens, and I can't say I blame you. <laughs> Sorry it turned out this way. Hold it, Doc. You can wait a minute for old Shanghai. Well, you ain't leaving here until I pay you your fee. I pay all my debts in cash. Tessie? Give him that roll of bills. Here, $2,000. Mr. Pierce wants to use it for a new hospital. Not a rich cent. Doc, for a brief thanks, sir. You better take it, you old butcher, you. And Wyatt. Hey, oh, there yeah. he goes again. Busting his stitches. Look out, Give lady. We'll have to take him in, Wyatt. Oops. Go pick up Doc's money. He earned it. Well, he cleaned 
opened up the country, the old Wild West country. He made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp, brave, courageous, and bold. Long live his fame and long live 